What's guys, this is Yash and it's a very different kind of video. In this particular video, I'm going over some 10 different concepts on Facebook advertising that I totally think that if you don't know off or these terms that you don't know off, you're gonna go in detail, it's gonna be a pretty long video. But this video is so important for every dollar that you spend on your Facebook ads because it is gonna bring in value back. So, that being said, I'm gonna go over each and every concept and tell you what is what and how you could use it. So the first concept we have over here is called the ad type. So, what is the ad type? On Facebook, you have many ways of promoting your product. You could just be doing a creative or an ad to actually get people into your website, that's it. So that's a traffic ad type. You could do it to convert. So you wanna convert for ad to cart, or you wanna convert for initiate checkout, or you wanna convert to Buy. So that would be the second type of ad and that's called the conversion ad. It could be remarketing or retargeting audience and that we are retargeting our ad. So that is what these ad type represent. Second, the budget. Now what is budget? Like how you budget for your household things like this is how much for grocery, this is my, my money for gas, this is for car, this is for car payment, rent. The same way for ad budget, what you do is you budget out a certain specific amount. Say 10 grand a day, 10 grand a week, 10 grand a month, regardless of how, like it depends on how big your business is and you kind of base that on that. So ad budget is the amount that you're gonna spend on ads. And then you budget it further, going how many single image ads you wanna spend money on and how much of the budget you wanna spend. 10% of 10,000 you wanna do on single image ads, 10% of the 10,000 wanna do on the carousel ads, the other 80% wanna do on video ads. So it all depends on the ad type and then you budget amount that you wanna budget for the ad type and retargeting and remarketing. All of that is very important. We're gonna go deeper into these. I just wanna go over these little terms so you exactly know for, because from here on, all the all of these videos would have quite a lot of these terms used and if you ever have a problem, you could come back to this video, watch it and know which term we were talking about. So the third is CPA. What is CPA? It is one of the most important numbers you really must care for. It's called cost per acquisition. Now what that means is the amount of money you spend for a customer to come in and buy. Simple. So it's like if uh, say I'm selling this marker and I put in $50 worth of ad and five people come in to buy this marker, my cost per acquisition is 10 bucks a customer. It's pretty simple. So if I'm trying to sell this marker and I'm selling uh, and I'm trying to do a $50 ad and with that $50 I get 10 sales, that means my cost per acquisition is five bucks. That's $50. That's $50, the amount divided by the number of sales. That gives me cost per acquisition. So that I have, and now that's 50 bucks. You have to be very sure about your targeting and your analytics because you do not want to think that your CPA is different from what it is. It might sometimes fool you because you, are you probably doing a retargeting campaign and your CPA would be really low because you've actually advertised to them once. They never bought it then, but they bought it on your retargeting. Uh, campaign. So there's actually some funds that that you had already put in in the previous ad campaigns. That's more to go into. It's quite a lot in detail. I'm not going to go into that right now. The next is return on investment. So the next concept we're going to go over, number four, is return on investment. What is return on investment? It's about how much money you cut, get back. So you put in five bucks, how much did you get back? I put in ten bucks into ads, how much do I get back? If I put in 10 bucks, I get $100 in sales. I put 100, I get $700 in sales. If I put 20,000, I get 100,000 in sales. That's how simple it is. It is return on investment. You invest some money into a product, into a business, into an ad, and how much you get back is the ROI. These two numbers are very important, the CPA and ROI, because it actually frames your ad campaigns and you know, if your ROI is high, that means your ads are good. If your cost per acquisition is low, that means your ads are good. So that's how you go. So cost per acquisition, if it is lower, then your ads are doing good. ROI, if it's higher, then, you, then your ads are good. If, you, if It all makes sense. That being said, going to auction. What is an auction? In a normal time, an auction is, I'm trying to sell this product and there are a bunch of people who want to actually buy this product. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, auction starts now, I'm like, okay, the first bid on this is going to be what? Someone says a dollar, the other one says two dollars, the other one says three dollars, and the auction keeps on going until there's no one who beats the price. That is what an auction system is. Facebook advertising is an auction system. Yes, it is an auction system. A lot of people do not know and don't know the concept about the auction system. Like I was saying, auctions. Now that you understand what an auction is, I want to go ahead and tell you that 
Facebook is an auction system. When you are marketing or advertising on Facebook, what you're doing is as a person who's advertising, as a marketeer, you're auctioning your ads on the feed of your customers. So say I want to show my ad to 10 people, 10 different people. I'm not the only one who wants to show this, I show this ad. So there are other marketeers, other suppliers, other people who also want to showcase their ad on other people's feed. So what that does is my bid, my bid is to actually show my ad, my auction is to actually show my ad on your feed. That is my main goal. So that is what I'm auctioning for. So that's just the gist of it. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but that is what it is. Now, what is a bid? It, it is an auction, right? It is an auction. So I have to have a bid in order to make it into the auction. So that is what the bid concept comes in. A lot of times people do not really care about bidding on ads because it is in a way by default Facebook automatically bids for you so it's auto bidding but you want to manual bid sometimes and see stuff okay so what happens you're bidding automatically bidding you mean you put up a $500 budget Facebook's going to use up all of your $500 budget uh, depending on the time of the day that you actually launch your marketing campaign but anyways it's going to use up all of your campaign budget and it is going to actually promote it's going to promote your product based on like it could be bidding at 50 bucks at 60 bucks 80 bucks 20 bucks 5 bucks you don't really care it's actually auto bidding so it shows that many number of impressions or gets you the number of views on your ads so that's the main goal for Facebook at that time so that's auto bidding on manual bidding you put a limit you're like Facebook only show this ad to people who would spend t uh, like show this ad for ten dollars per purchase now that's how you bid on Facebook so your cost per, uh, you want to convert this like you want to sell this and it's profitable for you at 20 bucks if you spend twenty dollars in ads and get this sold it's profitable for you so you go ahead and put your maximum budget is your maximum bid is twenty bucks per purchase for this and you try to auction like that so that's another we call manual bidding it is a vast concept and I want to go over it with you guys and it is quite uh, quite important for you to actually know before you switch from order to manual because sometimes people do manual bidding and they never show up in people's ad feeds and they never spend up to, uh, capital or the money into ads and lose a lot of sales because of that so you do not want it you want to be a little bit more and you want to know a little bit more about how to do it so you got to go that go over it later what is a creative now the seventh point is the creative it is a very important another topic in order to create this ad type, so what you do, you use different ad creatives, like you could use sim uh, single images, you could use still images, you could use videos, you could use just paragraphs, you could just actually make big videos, make slideshows and make big blog posts and whatever. You could do any kind of ad. So ad creative is what creative is. I have also done a video about how to make a single image, kind of make into an ad and make it look appealing to people. It's a little outdated now, but it is out there because there are other ways of doing it and I do recommend video ads over anything. So go ahead and give it a shout out. I'm going to post the link somewhere on the screen right now so you could just click on it. It'll take you to that video and you can watch how to make single image ads and I've done that video and it's pretty good. So what is an impression? Impression is the number of times your ad was actually seen by somebody, that's it. It don't matter if someone clicks on it, it don't matter if someone actually interacted with your ad, engaged with your ad or anything. It's just simply if someone looked at your ad, that is how simple it is. So if someone just scrolled through the feed and they saw the marker like they split by, that's called as an impression. Once they refresh it, they watch it on another feed and they see the marker go past again, it's another impression. So impressions could be, you could have 100,000 impressions to one customer. So it is possible because one impression was shown repeatedly, like one ad was shown repeatedly to the same customer. That is quite possible. Next we have is reach. Reach is number of people this ad was shown to. So number of individuals that ad was shown to. So reach and impressions kind of go hand in hand. You could have a smaller reach, but you could have a lot of impressions. That means your frequency is high. What I mean by frequency is a small bunch of people were shown your ads many times. Frequency is the number of times your ad was shown and hence your impressions. So how you calculate frequency, Facebook does it for you, but how it does is it divides impressions by reach and it tells you the frequency. That being said, what is value? 
there's a new ad type on Facebook. It's called value. So, oh, I mean, it's a new conversion type, like a type of ad that you could do. So you could do for conversions, likes, links, target, getting traffic, but there's a new one called value. It is a really new phenomenon. I've just started, um, it's pretty new, and I just put out a few ads and we're not seeing too much results, so I actually compliment or comment on it. So I'm not gonna go further with it, but what value does is, it's actually your, you're aiming at ROI. What is your ultimate goal of the, of the sale? How much do you want to get? So it's like, right, I want to maximize my return. You know, I want to sell this product to get the most sales. So someone comes in and buys five products or three products or the most products. So that's the main goal of value. So guys, these are the 10 main points and maybe 11 including frequency I went over with you guys today because I think they're so important if you're doing anything with Facebook advertising. If you'd like, you could go over any of these and actually Google these concepts and actually go ahead and watch other videos to actually optimize yourself for these. But I think it is so important that I have to do a video. If you have any questions on it, just snap me. My Snapchat's right here. If you have any questions, just snap, ask me on my Instagram. So Instagram here or Snapchat here. Subscribe to this channel by clicking right here. And I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to do a comment down there and tell me what you have queries about and we're going to do more videos on it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Take care. Peace. Good day.